What's up guys? I'm at the Adventure Van Expo in Lake Tahoe and I got Alex here. Hey, how are you? Just tell everybody who you are and what you do and what's going on here. Uh, I'm Alex with Mercedes-Benz of Rockland and a couple years back we decided we needed an event to show everybody what you can do with events. And it's pretty good. We have 60 different vendors. Nice. Uh, Neil has done a great job organizing Adventure Van Expo. Um, and we are proud to be the, the hosts and sponsors of it. Nice, uh, nice. We have, obviously, right here, we have a Metris van. So let, let's step back and then we'll move in. So let's tell everybody out there what they're looking at. This is the new Metris so uh, cargo new van, Metris. right? Yeah, so this is a passenger yeah. Metris. We introduced the Metris in 2016 to the U.S. market. Yeah. It has been in the European market for about 20 years. Oh, okay. Uh, this vehicle here is actually made uh, with a Weekender package from Remo. Uh, that has been installed by Santa Cruz Campers. They are uh, Santa Cruz Campers dot com right there. Give them right a shout there. out. And this is a two wheel drive, right? This is a two what wheel engine? Drive. Uh, it's a four cylinder gas uh -huh. rear wheel drive. Seven. Oh, rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive. I thought it was front wheel drive. No, no, no. Rear oh. wheel drive. So seven speed transmission. So cool. You have a payload of twenty five hundred pounds. Nice. And a towing capacity of five thousand pounds. Cool. They got a little boat, little camper trailers, something else you want to tow. Nice. Uh, we will be later on introducing other models that will be attractive to people for their all-wheel drive purpose. Okay. And possibly a diesel. That's cool. I didn't know that they're going to make an all-wheel drive eventually. It's in the top. That's cool. Give us a couple of years. Yeah. And you'll, you'll see them because the market. demand is there, right? The yeah. Will definitely yeah. Be there. All people right. So this let's uh, let's geek out. Uh, front to back on what you got here as far as the camper goes uh, so as far as the camper you can see that we have a uh, camper top that opens up uh, you've got small seats in the front that's nice so that when you come in here so people can uh, they can interact together oh, yeah, of course yeah. so you can pull Let's the go. seat forward here look at that oh look at that and obviously the table does go up and down so you can create more leg space but uh, this way you have a little common area for you to eat, to hang out with your friends, play cards, play games with the kids, yeah. yeah. And look at that headroom, guys. It's like crazy tall. Oh, you can totally stand up. What is that? Like seven feet all the way to the top? Uh, it had to be seven feet because I'm pretty sure I'm only uh, five seven. Uh -huh. And then you pull this down. And That's you cool. A sleeping area for another two people. Oh, look at that. That is cool, man. This nice is and comfortable. Stick your kids up here. Or I had a customer say today, you know what? When I get to my campsite and I have all my gear and it's raining outside, yeah. I don't want to put my gear outside. And throw it on here. Oh yeah. I then put this. Oh, those are on gas struts too. Yeah. I can convert this out. I like how beefy those are too. They're pretty tough. So that just flips down. This just flips down. You pull this lever out. Look at that. Wow. So see four people. Here, show the guys what it looks like when you lay down there. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". So 5'7". Look like how much room. Two people could fit there no problem. Yeah. That's awesome. And you see how fast he did that, guys? It was like literally like 10 seconds. And then to put it back yeah. up. Simply lift it, put some place, yeah. seat goes back in place. Boom. That's cool. And here's something that the other guys I've been noticing at the show don't have. Seating for three, seat belted legally. Correct. Legal seat yeah. Three point yeah. hearts. I got three kids and a wife, so this is perfect for this me. Great, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. A little bit of storage space down here too, which is pretty nice. Oh cool. Slides out. Slides out. So your stuff away. The table that was here has an amazing feature. You can take it apart and it's got legs. Oh yeah. So you can use it outside. Outside and inside. Very because cool. Because in the back here we have a kitchen. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look here. Look at that. Yeah, trail nice kitchen, right? Stove. Yeah. Trail kitchen made here in Tahoe. Yeah. And trucky. Yeah. Nice little stove with a power water system so you don't have to pump anything. On demand. On demand. Yeah. Transforms just like that. This up. You know, obviously you've got some working space, but also it sells away really nice. That is cool. It's like a transformer. Correct. Look so at that. It does lift out of the way, so in case you want to stow some more stuff here, you know, that's basically the way to do that. That is so cool. It's like a transformer, man. This is amazing. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty nice, man. I think this is a good segment for the market. Yeah. Uh, there really is another manufacturer that makes a vehicle in this size. Yeah. Um, about the last manufacturer that did this was the Chevy Astrovan. 
Yeah. And that's been discontinued for 20 years. So if I were to buy this right now, how much is this whole setup, the way I look at it right uh, now? This whole setup, you can start about $55,000. That's not bad. That is not bad. Wow. Now, uh, considering that it's a $35,000 MSRP vehicle, mm -hmm. plus the package that's installed in the vehicle. That is so cool. I love it, man. So. I know the guys watching this video, they're going to be like, hey man, I'm interested. Where do I go? What do uh, I do? Proceed has been to Rockland, right here All in right. California. All right. Is there a website they can contact you as uh, well? Well, they go to MB of Rockland uh, uh -huh. or they can email me direct at asepulveda at vonhausen.com. Okay. So. Awesome. Cool. There you go, guys. See, you know, these $200,000 rigs are awesome, but this is where it's at, man, yeah, for, the, it's for the regular Put guy. In your garage, right? In your garage, yeah, that's another one. You go yeah. to San Francisco for the day, Camper, <laughs> yeah. the Christmas Warp. Yeah. The you can park in any parking any spot. Parking spot. Yeah. That is cool. And your garage. And it's yeah. stealth. Stealth camping, yeah. Stealth, you know? <laughs> you can leave the top down and still sleep. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. So here's another Metris. This one's basically like that one but this one has just a couple more things same thing with the pop top same thing with the seats and the bed on the bottom but this one has the entire cabinet system there sink stove fridge and closet so a little bit different than the other one only thing this thing is missing is a toilet which you could probably put back here you know those little portable toilets you could put a porta potty right there and then you'd literally have everything you need. Bed, fridge, hot water, outdoor shower, and a potty, and a pop-top roof. That's like everything you could ever need all in a compact package that fits in your garage. So this is a four-wheel drive Sprinter, right? This Look at that. This is a 2019 four-wheel drive Sprinter. Look at this beast. Uh, currently, a... these are pretty rare in the market. Yeah, everyone's buying them up. <laughs> yeah, everybody's buying them up and you can't yeah. find them. Yeah. Uh, we do have Cal Team front bumper custom made for us by Mercedes Benz of Rockland. Oh, nice. We are the first ones to display this bumper for him. Oh, that's it is cool. an amazing recovery bumper. What's this company called? Cal, Cal Tuned. Tuned, right there. Cal Tuned. He's got a spitty right build. Backyard. It's, they did a great job. I like that. It's got a winch on there. Then we have a Rome built rack. Uh, those it's guys a are huge amazing. Huge rack. We've partners with them for a while now. That thing is humongous. That thing is huge. You've got over 16 feet of, of area to cover. So you can either yeah. put a tent up there, you can put solar panels. Yeah. You can attach your audience to it. You can walk up there. I'm, I'm already thinking if I put a tent up there, you, it's like having a tent and a patio together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you look at the yeah. uh, uh, Rome Builds van down there, yeah. sees. He's got one with a tent and he's got this little rolled out carpet, <laughs> green carpet, it's yeah. really nice. They, they actually designed these steps for us uh, custom because we do have a custom four wheel drive with dual sliding doors mm -hmm. that is very rare to see. Uh -huh. And for that reason, we needed steps on both sides. Yeah. So they did steps on both sides. I like that. Yeah. Very uh, nice. The, the 19 definitely drives a lot different than the 18s. You know, they introduced two more gears into the transmission. So now you have a seven-speed transmission oh, uh, nice. and 25 more horsepower in the engine as well. So the engine again on this one is what? It's a V6 diesel. V6 yeah. diesel. So nice. The whole drive only comes in V6 diesel. And you get that torque then. Yep, awesome. You get that torque. And it's... Uh, How much torque is it? Do you know? I believe it's about 325. Don't nice. Me <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we can Google that. Yeah, but yeah, that's the that. ballpark. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's, uh, it definitely feels... You know, I came up the hill on Thursday, mm -hmm. uh, Friday uh -huh. and just amazing. Yeah. Amazing drive. Comfortable. Yeah. Uh, this van, like I said, we customize it. So we we have a bench seat here that sits three. This is a new seat that Mercedes Benz offers uh -huh. that actually does recline. Our oh, cool. Never recline. So this is another big selling point for me. Again, I'm always thinking about the five people in my family. Yeah. There we go. Five people right. can fit right you get here. They recline in the front, but they don't in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now That's awesome. Uh, and then we just uh, we finished this van off. So we have a factory headliner. Oh, right? look at that. And we wanted to show people that even if you buy a crew van or something, you don't have to fabricate too much into it to get it to where you want. Yeah. This is this is insulated. We took everything down, insulated mm -hmm. it, finished off the walls, added an adventure wagon uh, Moad bed. Adventure yeah. wagon. That's right. They, I saw yep. those guys. Oh, they got some amazing products. And this is one of their bags as well. This is an adventure wagon cool. bag. Very cool. And just finish it off really nice. And it's super simple. So you can still simple. camp in it when you want to, or you could carry your motorcycles or, oh, yeah. or mountain bikes. And the bed goes up and down, so you have the ability to do a lot of different things. That's cool. Yeah. 
very versatile. I very. like it. And probably more affordable than a fully kitted out one, too. Correct. What, what is something like this selling for if you were to sell it? So this right here. I know it's pricey. Yeah, so this one right here is selling for $115,000 the way it sits. $115,000. You do have a lot of one-off custom parts that we uh -huh. made for the van. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, you know, there is a value behind, obviously, yeah. the wait time that we've had that they do it and the work that they do. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. And, uh, yeah. you, you know, the vans themselves, you can start off in a four-wheel drive about... $54,000. Yeah. So you could buy the van from you guys yep. and then buy slowly the build it up over time. Build up time. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to spend all the money right away. Exactly. Or or you it's could nice. do it that way too. Or you can do it. Or you can let us do it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, either way. Well, either way. Well, you got yeah. options. Awesome. Very cool. All right, guys. So there you have it. That's pretty awesome. Uh, getting, getting to meet the, the guys that invented this whole show and then also seeing the things that they're capable of as far as small or big that's Correct. cool thank you all right man have a good one bye-bye